Okay, so if you've watched Saltburn recently, you'll know that not only is the movie a whirlwind of a ride, but there are a few scenes in it that quite literally go beyond anything that you could have possibly predicted when you would have first put it on. And if you sat down with your parents, then I feel for you. I'm on about the bath scene, the end scene where he's dancing around the estate, but within this video, I'm going to be talking about the grave scene. One which stuck in my head because it was such a disgusting moment. I mean, the slurp was gross, but sticking your worm in the ground, come on. So I thought I'd break down and explain the scene and answer why it was that he did it. So let's get into it. Here is Saltburn, the grave scene explained and why he did it. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Graveyard Scene In the final quarter of the movie, before we hit the reveal in the finale where we found out that Ollie was responsible for the death of both Felix and Venetia and that he'd set out on a plan to inherit the estate long before he even knew Felix personally, there was a moment which followed Felix's death where we saw that after the funeral had taken place, Ollie went to visit Felix's grave on his own. And in the pouring rain, he grieved for a moment. But during this moment of grieving, he took off his shirt, his trousers, and then proceeded to take pleasure in pressing up against the dirt above Felix's coffin and in front of his gravestone, something which showed just how messed up the character was. If the bathtub scene didn't make you think that he was, or the fact that he'd lied about his entire life to get close to Felix, this was the moment where we saw that the character was a severely messed up person. This scene had choral music playing over the top of it for the most part, at least when he had his clothes on. And then, once they were off, the music stopped and we heard him crying into the dirt as he was committing the act that he was doing allowing us to see the true, exposed, horrific nature of it. So the scene took a real dark and disgusting turn very quickly. So why did Ollie do it? I feel there could be a few reasons behind why Ollie could have done what he did to the grave. Ollie has the mindset of a serial killer, as after all, he is one. He's a pathological liar and he's also a psychopath, and we've heard serial killers do a lot worse than what he did in sticking it in a bit of dirt. But it feels like what he did was one level below necrophilia, do I feel he would have done the same to the corpse of Felix? Personally, I don't think so. I don't think he takes pleasure out of the dead in that way. But the specific act that he committed at the grave ties into the type of serial killer that he is and the mindset that he had in that moment, combining everything that happened right up until that point. I would describe Ollie as a comfort slash gain killer because he acted on motivation and stood to get material gain. The acts were planned and well organized and the victims were acquainted with the offender due to the expected gain. So he ticks every checkbox that there is that would classify him as that specific type of killer. I did wonder whether or not Ollie ever truly cared for Felix or if it was just the material gain that he desired, as he did say that he just needed him to understand how much he loved him when they were arguing in the middle of the labyrinth. And personally, I still don't know whether he did, at least not in the way that a normal person would love somebody. I feel Ollie loved everything that Felix stood for, rather than the person himself, and that's what caused him to respond in that way. Felix was the complete opposite of Ollie, and he liked what he felt when he was around him because it almost gave him a false sense of reality, a reality that he'd never experienced before. We know that Ollie was quite literally a loner at university and had been without friends for most of his life, as the only friend that he had when he joined the university was the person who was considered an outsider as well. And Ollie even mentioned to Felix that he was the only friend that he ever had. There was a turning point in their argument when Ollie gave Felix the drink that was laced with poison when he pretended to throw up. And Felix said to him, I think you should go to bed. And Ollie responded by saying, I don't care what you think anymore most probably knowing that he was going to be dead by the morning so there was no need to care. As I mentioned, Ollie was an outsider. He always had been and upon Felix's death, we saw that he became that exact thing again. He was walking behind, emerging out of the mist like the Grim Reaper behind the family, standing separate at the funeral and having to watch the ceremonial stone dropping from the other side of the lake, away from the family on his own. All things that put him back to where he was when the movie first started, I think the grave scene occurred because Felix was somebody who he was totally obsessed with. He stalked him from the beginning, made sure that he was able to become friends with him, watched him whilst he was in the bath, slurped the dirty water that he bathed in, and this person was no longer around for him to have that obsession with. If Felix was alive and willing to be with Ollie, of course he would have probably been intimate with him then, but that was never on the cards. His obsession was now just gone, and I think that's why he was so upset. Maybe he wasn't ready to kill him at that point, 
but because the truth was revealed that Ollie had lied about his entire life, he knew that he had to act fast to stop the truth from being revealed. We never saw another reaction from him like that with anybody else because the others were just people that he had to deal with in order to get to the finish line and to gain what he wanted. They were his subject's associates. This was Ollie's opportunity to be intimate with Felix in the only way that was possible for him and he took his chance. Was he mourning Felix? Well, he was in tears, sobbing and upset. But like I said, I think it was more the obsession that he was mourning and the fact that he couldn't be around him anymore. He never truly loved Felix, he just loved what he stood for, the popularity that he had, the attention that he got when he was around him and how he quite literally transformed his life and he was obsessed with it. This was something that Ollie wasn't used to. He was used to not being noticed or being noticed for the wrong reasons and when you look at the scene that occurred between Farley and Oliver when Farley said how the summer that Ollie was at Saltburn was just going to be a story that he told his grandkids one day, it showed the main motivation as to why it all happened to ensure that Felix's life became his and that his reality was the wealth that was unfathomable. So Ollie sticking it in the grave was him mourning the fact that he'd lost the person that he was obsessed with and this was him being able to be with him, quote unquote, in a way that he always wanted. It was a level deeper than slurping the water, something which felt invasive and intrusive, but this was a level of invasiveness that couldn't have ever been imagined beforehand. This scene was one which definitely stands out in the entire movie, just as much as the scene in the bathtub, they're both utterly disgusting, sickening and paint a true picture of the type of person that Ollie is. Like I said at the start, I don't think I could have ever predicted those scenes occurring when the movie first started, but they definitely added talking points. What was good about them was that they didn't only provide talking points, but they did a lot of explaining without the use of words or elongated scenes. We saw a look inside of the character's mind without him even saying a word and it showed just how messed up of an individual Ollie was and it made the ending seem all the more understandable. So, there you have it, Saltburn the Grave Scene Explained and why he did it. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions and Character Breakdowns, then click on the card in the top corner or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my letterboxed profile. It's where I rate other movies. These are the ones that I've rated recently. If you want to see what I've scored them out of 5, then head over there. Do you think this scene was worse than the bathtub scene? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.